Boot camp can be a tough and challenging experience for new recruits. One of the most iconic images we have of boot camp is drill sergeants yelling at people. But the question is, why do they yell? Before we dive into this, let's start with why every drill sergeant is an expert at yelling. So all drill sergeants or military training instructors, they receive training on how to use their voice effectively before they become drill sergeants. Now, the purpose of this training is to teach them how to project their voices in a way that commands attention and authority, but more importantly, to protect their vocal cords. They tell us to use our diaphragm not to use your throat because that's how you get the froggy voice. So they learn techniques like diaphragmatic breathing, which basically involves using diaphragm muscles to control the flow of air to support their voice. Now, the use of yelling or shouting in the military as a motivational tool can be traced back to ancient times. For example, back in ancient Greek or the Roman armies, the officers would use loud, commanding voices to motivate their troops. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> This technique is still being used today in more modern times as it continues to prove to be an effective tool. By creating this high pressure intense environment, you can simulate the stress and chaos of a combat environment. Psychologists consider this type of training stress inoculation. So by exposing the recruits to these controlled stressors, like yelling in high intense situations, you can help them develop the mental and emotional resilience they need to handle the real thing. I remember I was deployed in the Middle East as an electrician on an AC-130U aircraft. We get a notification from our production superintendent that the aircraft has wind chest. For those of you who don't know what wind chest is, it's basically when your aircraft is all out of ammo. Keep in mind the AC-130U at this time had a 105 millimeter on it. It had a 40 millimeter and a 25 millimeter. So they come back down, no more ammo. Everybody's freaking out. They're trying to get back in the air, but they need to load up more ammo. And there's a, there's a couple repairs that need to be done. Because I had been used to these stressful situations, we made the repairs, we got the aircraft back up in the air. It went back to where it was and it Winchester again. You Winchester an AC-130U twice. Something got blown up. What up to the uh, south? Uh, More concerning than the stressful environment. Somehow the female pilot came down with a cake. She went up in the air without a cake. Somehow she baked one after the aircraft Winchester twice. Jesus Christ. I digress. <laughs> so being yelled at is not a normal practice for the civilian population. But surprisingly, if you've ever played sports before, then you've probably been yelled at by your coach one or two times before. And just like your coach yells at you, there's three additional reasons I want to highlight why the military yells at you as well. Number one reason is to establish authority. You're always going to have that one alpha male, that one alpha female who tries to challenge the system. When the drill sergeants raise their voice and assert control, it usually makes everyone bow down. You always got that one though. Yeah, brother. Why don't you come closer? <laughs> I am not your damn brother! Now drop down, give me 20 squad thrust now! The number two reason is to create that sense of urgency. I've actually seen this. In basic training, you have a group of people moving slow. The T.I. starts yelling, pew! Everybody starts moving fast. Where, where's your ID? And Where the is your ID? I can't back, tell sir. you to put it in there! So back, take sir. it out! Yes, sir! It's not ideal, but it is effective. And number three, you probably got in trouble. <laughs> What are you laughing at, pig boy? Now, of course, after basic training, all the yelling becomes minimal and you can get back to the normal groove of your life. Luckily for you, the military is currently an all-volunteer force, which means you would have to choose to undergo this challenge. Unless, of course, a draft happens. Now, the possibility of something like that happening is unlikely, but if you ever wanted to know how it works, I got a video on the screen right now that explains everything about a draft. Like I always say, I hope this video brought value to you. Stay beautiful, stay classy, and until next time, check me out.